Unfortunately, monsters are the least of your problems now. Which one are you in, Ken? Because they're nothing compared to gods. Who's in those other coffin thingies? If you believe the legends, it's some sort of prison or jail. Our people loved the gods. One in particular. Said to be capable of containing a god. Gods don't exist. Monsters are real. Why not divine beings? Myths are but one discovery away from becoming our reality. All stories come from somewhere. It wasn't me. You have never met the likes of me. We didn't know it at the time. We thought we were normal. It wasn't until we met humans that we actually understood that we were different. Power and privilege the gods abused. Gods are only as powerful as people's belief in them, which had diminished over the years. The gods were happy ones. His name is Ken. Every god except my brother Ken. So you're the king of the gods. Leo's drawing is the second piece of evidence pointing to Ken's arrival. His insatiable desire for conquest led him to find new places where he could be feared and loved. We crossed into your world. That's when wars intensified. I'm trying to save as many of you as I can. This looks like your father's handiwork to you. Lightning, fire, death, destruction. Yeah, that's um. More and more humans started arriving in limbo. So I did something stupid. I took pity. But what father wouldn't want to help their son, right? Mine, as it turns out. And so I took matters into my own hands. When Ken found out, he cursed me. God's cursed you. If I was so interested in helping humans, he would force me to do it for all eternity. But the curse will remain as long as father lives. You will still be hunted by monsters every day of your life. The story of my life. It's my father. He can control curses. He must have cured all of your stuff. Sabotages. I know you know who I am. The right to be afraid of me. And the legends must be true. You are extremely powerful. The father of an entire family of gods. I had never seen that look on his face before, so it took me a minute to figure out what it was. My all-powerful father was afraid. What does an omnipotent deity fear? The ultimate death sentence for God came along. A creature that could make the world forget you ever existed. Malivore is dead, so why didn't your family wake up? Because my traitorous daughter! I lied. I was to wake them up, never existed. After a millennia, my father was finally offering me a place in the family by his side. But all I could think about was how he punished humans for every little thing. But earthquakes, fires, floods. I'm the most powerful being in existence, so imagine my surprise when I was awoken and heard there was a girl claiming that same title. I must crush her and prove otherwise. Such is the way of gods. My father got what he wanted, but like all bullies, I'm sure he'll be back as soon as he wants something else. Why won't you die? My father is heading to the school, and I knew that you would try to stop him, and you would lose. The probability of success has dropped to zero percent. You lose. You are all going to die. There's really only one person who needs to die. I will help you kill the tribe. The tribrid. I was a father determined to protect his family from Malivore, at least the ones he hadn't already consumed. I was so intent on destroying him that I was blind to the true enemy in my midst. My daughter, Jen, tricked me. Lizzie kills Aurora. I've always been paranoid. That's how I took the throne from my siblings. My father attacks Lizzie. Because I'm willing to accept their betrayal may come from anywhere. I have come to challenge you according to the old ways. Once a challenge is issued, it can't be refused. Your move, Ken. <laughs> I accept. Be careful what you wish for, child. It took me a lifetime to control all of my power. Enough! You are children! You cannot kill a god! It takes god magic to kill a god, right? Nothing is unkillable. Guess what that sphere is made out of? I hope you 